Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. So today we are going to be making hot pot potatoes. I'm sure not everyone know what this is, but I know that the Cameroonians definitely know what this is. It's a very delicious potato meal and it comes together in a very short time. So I'm going to take you along on how I make this delicious recipe. Let's get started. I've got three pounds of roasted potatoes here and that's what I'm using today. However, you can also use Irish potatoes if that is what you have where you live. Now cut this into cubes, about let's say two inches is good. And you want to make sure everything is of almost equal sizes so that everything is going to cook at the same time. Now put everything in a bowl of water and leave it there till you are ready to use them. And this is going to prevent the potatoes from browning. So I've got my beef here and I'm going to be cutting that into small bits. You don't want to cut them too big because you want them to cook very fast. Also, if you don't want to use beef, feel free to use lamb meat or chicken meat. It works just as well. If you don't want to use bell peppers, it's fine. You can either use carrots or green beans too. I'm adding my oil inside my pan. So once the oil is nice and hot, I'm going to be adding my beef. I'll be adding some thyme, seasoning powder, salt, black pepper and cayenne pepper. So mix well and continue to cook until the meat is well browned on all sides. And don't forget to stir this occasionally to prevent the meat from burning. The meat is now looking nice and browned. It's now time to add our onions, followed by the tomatoes and tomato paste. Now mix this together until everything is well combined. I'll now be adding some garlic and some grated ginger as well. Cover it up and leave to cook for about five minutes so that all the tomatoes can release their juices. In goes the potatoes. You want to mix that well so that all the seasoning can be evenly distributed all around the food. You know, you don't want chunks of seasoning here and there. You want everything to be well distributed. For my liquid, I'm using chicken stock today. You can also use beef stock or even water. However, if you choose to use water, you might need to adjust the seasoning a little bit just to even out the flavor. Now cover this up and leave it to cook for about 20 minutes or till the potatoes are nice and tender. I love to add my veggies when it's about three to four minutes to the end of cook time. In that way, the veggies can also be able to cook up a little bit and become nice and tender before the whole thing gets ready. Mm -hmm. 
And that is it, we are done. As you can see, this came together pretty easily and quickly, but it's very delicious. So that is it again for today. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. As usual, all the details you need for today's recipe can be found in the description box. Until next time, I'll talk to you shortly. Enjoy. <music>